Can you believe that half the year is gone? It is the end of June, middle of the year, six months is gone. I think we need to take a step back, take a breath, and take stock of where we are at right now, at this point in our lives, with our goals, with our readings, with whatever it is that we are doing. We, I think it's time that we ask ourselves, are we working hard or hardly working? Welcome to a new video here at Mr. Pink Ink. I'm Jacques, and today we are going to answer 13 questions about the last six months and if we are at where we saw ourselves at in January. <laughs> if we made goals for ourselves and resolutions, have we kept up with them? Is this where we're at? Are we that person? Do we stick to our goals? Did we not? And in this video, uh, I'm going to tell you about some stuff, about my reading stuff, because there's 13 questions and uh, we are going to answer those. <laughs> well, I am going to answer them. So, yes. <laughs> so fun. Get ready. Let's take a look and see how this year has gone already. The answers to the first two questions are, are, are going to be kind of linked. <laughs> the first question is, what's, what's the best book you've read so far in 2024? And I haven't had a duology, so um, are we going to go with that? Uh, Blood and Moonlight by Erin Betty. This is courtesy of Pan Macmillan, South Africa. Click can hold to read. Um, the writing is fantastic. The characters are fantastic. The plots are fantastic. It is, it is really good. This is romanticy, yet it's also not romanticy. So, this is why I like it so much. Um, it's really good. It's really good. I do have videos up. I will try and tag them up here in the first part. Uh, which will lead us on to question number two. Question number two is the best sequel you've read so far this year in 2024. And I'm going to have to go with part two of that duology, Silence and Shadow, also by Erin Betty. Oh, oh, oh. Um, again, for the same reasons, okay, do go check out those videos, do check them out if you've read them, I absolutely love them. Um, the second book isn't as good as the first one, just, just slightly, but there's a lot going for it in both of them, and I absolutely love it, and I do recommend it. So if you're into romanticy, if you're into fantasy, if you're into moon magic, if you're into found family, if you're into chosen one tropes, there's a love square. If you're into love triangles, if you're into love square, there's, there's all sorts of tropes in this one. I do, I do recommend that. On to question number three, which is, what is a new release that you haven't read yet? Um, I recently got this from Jonathan Ball Publishers. Thank you very much. The Silence Factory by Bridget Collins. Um, I haven't read the first one from her, the one before this one. I don't know what it's called, but... Totally looking forward to it. Click and hold to read, by the way. Da, 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 da. Yes, because this is a thriller. This is... I don't know. I don't know. A guy wanted silence, so he created a silence factory. Okay? Making silences. I'm looking forward to that one. What are you looking forward to reading this year so far? Which new release do you have that you haven't read yet? Let me know down in the comments below, because I'm curious that way. On to question number four, which is mm, your most anticipated release for the second half of the year. Well, I don't really do that. I, I read what I get, okay? I, 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 get a, I get a mailer sometimes and it asks me, like, like August Silas July highlights from the publishers and then I select one or two and then I might get it, I might not get it. Um, but... This is from the Pan Macmillan South Africa July August highlights. Um, this is part three of the Children of Blood and Bone trilogy. Um, I don't know what it's called. Uh, by Tomi Adeyemi. 
this is one that I did not request because I do not have book two. They sent this to me anyway and I'm grateful. Um, so I'll need to get book two. I do have a signed copy of a book one, which is awesome. Which is awesome. So I'm looking forward to this one. This one, I don't know when it's coming out, but it's in July, August highlights. So therefore it's July, August. Question number five asks, what was the biggest disappointment of the year so far? And I'm going to have to go with this one. Um, I was looking for some graphic novels last year on the Stack of Kindle Day. Um, and this was there. This is Jazz in the Wild's Fun House of Horror. It's meh. It's, it's, if you're not into that kind of thing, then I don't suppose you'll find anything. It's, it's just meh. It's... I waste my time. But I read it. Because I was looking for graphic novels and I got one. So, but yeah, it's just the horror stories about a guy and a fun house of horrors and they lure people in and then they lose their souls. La, 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 la. On to question number six, it asks, what was your biggest surprise for you so far this year? And I have to go with Daughter of Moon Goddess by Sue and Tan. Um, this is courtesy of Jonathan Ball Publishers and you can click and hold to read. Yes, beautiful, 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 beautiful. There is just so much going for it. It's exquisite, cinematic, atmospheric. Um, the writing, oh, the characters, the story. It's just brilliant, 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 brilliant. If you read it, let me know down below. If you haven't read it, do go get it. If you want to read it, put this on your list, okay? Do it. Do it now. Think about Question 7 asks if you have a favorite new author from what you've read so far, whether it's a, a debut author or new to your author. Um, and I have to go with Aaron Beatty for the Blood and Moonlight duology. I mean, I love that. I'm, I'm discovering new authors all the time. I'm reading new authors. Um, but so far, so far, this year, this year, okay. And, and of course, Sulin Tan. <laughs> Question number nine wants to know, what is your newest fictional crush? Um, I don't, I'm not that kind of guy. I do maybe crush on the people that I might be reading about, but no. Um, like I might find a character there in, 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 in the story, like, oh, he's yummy. Or that might be my type. Uh, but no, no new fictional crushes. Yeah, question number nine. <laughs> It's your newest favorite character now. Also, again, same as question number eight. Um, I, I, I don't do that. I have my favorites. I, although I have to say that I'm currently reading Seventh of the Empire by Remedy Feist and Jenny Wirtz. Um, this is part two in a trilogy. It's um, in the Rift War cycle. It's the events of these three books are happening at the same time as the first three, the main four books. So at the same time frame is happening. Um, it's pretty cool. Mara of the Akoma. Uh, as just found out, she was in a nunnery. Um, and then her dad and her brother died. So now she's automatically heir to the family, which is a whole thing. So she's got to bring up, build up the whole thing. So she's got from nothing, she has to build everything up and she has to survive. And it's actually their court intrigue and everything. It's, it's really good. I'm in love with, I'm, I'm not in love with, I mean... She, I stand Mara. I stand her. She's strong. She's everything. She is everything. So if you're into that kind of epic fantasy, then do, it's also sci-fi. This is happening on another world. It's still people, but yeah, so it's cool. So if you're into that kind of thing, do go check it out. Question number 10 is a book that made you cry. The Last Flowers was Alice Hart by Holly Ringland. It's now, um, this is the movie, the TV series Titan cover. You can pause to read. And so good. So good. The Australian landscape. Um, little Alice loses her parents at a young age and so on and so forth. And then she's nine and then we see her life from there and then all the secrets have been kept from her and so forth. She did like she didn't even know she had a grandmother, she wasn't told. Um, and abuse and stuff. I cried. I cried and cried and cried and cried and cried the whole way through the book. Um, 
And then I started watching the TV series just by the way, and in episode one they got that horrible HP reference. In the book, the girl is in the hospital recovering. She gets a gift of a box of books. In the box is the first book she comes out is an integral theme in the book. The, the name of the first book is an integral theme. There's no Harry Potter. In the movie, TV series, in the first episode, she is re in the hospital recovering. She gets a box of books as a gift. Uh, these books, the bo books in the box are all Harry Potter. We don't stand that. I don't know what Australia is trying to do. Okay, so I, 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 I didn't watch anymore. Sorry, we don't stand that. But I love this book. Okay, I do recommend this, highly recommend this. So, <clears throat> question number, question number 11 wants to know, a book that made you happy? Well, um, these boys have my hearts. If you don't know Heart Stopper, then, then where have you been? You need to be, you know, babies. Babies do not know Heart Stopper. There's also the TV series on Netflix. I'm currently, I don't have a Netflix right now, so I can't continue to watch it. I finally have book two, three, and four, and I have read book two, three, and four. Um, happy, happy. These boys have my heart, and I want only the best for them, and I will kill to protect them. Come at me. Question number 12 wants to know, what is the most beautiful book you've bought or received so far this year? Now, I just got this one from Pan Macmillan, and just look how gorgeous this is, guys. This is sunlight. Good morning, morning sunlight. It's about 10 a.m. Cape Town winter sun. Look how gorgeous is this book. You can pause to read. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. And I mean, I mean, there's been so many. I mean, also, how gorgeous is this one, right? And then this one, cool. And then uh, these ones take the cake, don't they? Well, plenty. I have plenty of these books so far this year. I just can't choose. Pretty covers are pretty covers, and we all have them. Not one really stands out to me so much. So. That's and the then the last question is number 13 what books do you need to read by the end of the year now let me tell you i have review books so far i mean uh, these are my latest so far we have this one and this one and this one um this is just my last couple my last two drops uh, from 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 jonathan ball and Pamac. mac I can't read this one until I get book two, um, which I may or may not be able to do. And then look how dirty this one is. And then they think it's me. I'm not, I'm not dirtying my own books. It comes to me like that, you know. And then just because I feel like it, I'm going to add my own question. Question number 14. What are you currently reading? And I have this art copy of Compass and Blade by Rachel Greenlaw. Um, the synopsis of on the inside, so do go to Goodreads and check it out. Apparently, it's about a girly, she's like 18 now, and they're on an, a remote kind of an island, and the, they're not being supported by like the government or whatever. So, they salvage wreckaged ships. So, she's a diver, she's a wrecker. She goes, seven people, they go to the wreckages and they save people, but they also save the cargo because they need food and stuff and they need to barter with other islands and so on and so forth. Uh, but there's a secret about that and, and then something happens and they get caught doing it and then her daddy gets taken and that's where we are. So I don't know what this is about just yet. That's as much as you know. So that's what we're reading. Please tell me what you're reading down below in the comments. I would love to know. It's still, you know, I've got a few more days for queer month. Um, um, so that's what I'm currently reading. I don't think that's queer. But I do also have on my TBR these two. Um, this one first, and then this one was another choice because I'm using this one last because it's a duology, and if I like it, I want to read the next one. So this is a push. Oh, I can go to next month. It's okay. So I still have these two on my TBR. What do you have in your TBR store left to read? Let me know down in the comments below. Yes, and that was that. Thank you so much for a 
allowing me to, you know, be a little bit transparent with you and to answer some questions. Um, I did, I did need to go and look. I've read 69 books so far this year. La, la, la. Most of it is audio books. Most of them are audio books. Don't look at me like that. I'm not a speed reader. So I've had to go look back on the books that I've read to see, to answer those questions. 69 books, you can't remember everything. But yes, I've read some really good books this year. I've had practically zero disappointments. Maybe two. I have zero DNFs this year so far, which is great. Um, and that's where we are. I made no resolutions. Um, I did... And I did want to read more science fiction. Mm -hmm. um, I've read a couple. Uh, currently, Servant of the Empire is also science fiction because it's it's intergalactic. So, you know, there's a rift between worlds. There's different worlds, so it's alien. That's cool. Uh, I also... That's it. That is it. I'm ahead of my schedule with my reading, so yay. Um, I've caught up on all my outstanding reviews because I did have a busy kind of a year. Um, so, I'm, I'm, I'm up to date. The only books that I haven't reviewed yet are the books I'm currently reading. Huh, this is not me. What happened? Did they brainwash me? Did they, is there an alien? I don't know. Enjoy the rest of your year. Do let me know what you are looking forward to reading in the next half of 2024 in the comments down below. Also, if you are doing this tag and you have this video, then please leave a link down below and I shall go and have a look. Because I'm down to know. I'm curious. Very, very curious. Just like Alice in Wonderland. Curiouser and curiouser. Me. Because I want to know what you're reading because I might like it too. Who knows? Who knows? From what looks like a nice day, but it's still cold in winter in Cape Town. See you in the next one. Bye.